Are you looking to up your tripod game without spending a ton of cash? Maybe you just got a larger camera and you don't trust your current tripod. Stick around, we're shooting extra wide today for a special review. Welcome to David Does. Today, David takes a look at the small rig AD01 tripod. I'm a brand new YouTube channel, so thanks for subscribing. Speaking of being a new YouTube channel, whenever I started filming my first few YouTube videos, the tripod I had was actually too small. It was just something from Best Buy, and I realized it's actually unsafe for my camera to be on there. For that thing to take a spill, that would be heartbreaking. I was doing some research online and seeing what was a good cost beginner tripod, specifically one that I really wasn't going to take anywhere except for my studio. In my mind, I want a tripod that is super robust, it's pretty much just going to stay in its own spot, be able to carry a very heavy load, and while I'm out and about, I'm probably going to be using my gimbal. This really fit the bill. As you can see, this is huge. Whenever I put this up here on the table, you can see that the, the legs themselves are very large, they're very sturdy especially whenever this is in a smaller configuration, this is not going anywhere. You could add some sandbags or some supports to this if you think that's needed. I don't think so. This is a video tripod, and really what that means is this head is made for making smooth shots. When you're taking a photo, that is a still photo. You don't need to move the tripod while you're you know, taking that photo. For a video, it needs to be smooth as you pan and tilt across. This fluid-filled head does that extremely well. I will say that is not something I use very often. My camera stays still whenever it's in the office or whenever it's in the studio. Whenever I'm out and about, I normally use my DJI gimbal to take care of those types of shots. Speaking of that, the actual plate you attach your camera to is super nice. This head will accept a DJI RS2 plate. My DJI RS3 Mini, if you haven't seen my video, check it out, is actually a different type of plate, so it doesn't work up here, and that's okay. Maybe if I would have thought ahead a little bit, I would have got the bigger DJI to make it work with this. It's not a deal breaker for me. That would have just been a nicety. The plate that is included is really high quality in my opinion. It has the Allen key magneted into it so you don't ever lose it, but whenever you need it, you have it. And that's a very thoughtful product design. I like that a bunch. The legs themselves are actually really high quality. Setup is very easy with this, and one thing I really like about this tripod is that it doesn't have a neck that just protrudes up above the legs themselves. In my opinion, while those tripods are nice, they can have a little bit of wobble to them if you have a heavy load up top. Having a very sturdy base that goes very high is gonna ensure that your camera gear is nice and secure. The feet themselves don't have any spikes. That could be a pro or con for you depending on how you use this tripod. For me, it mostly lives inside. The really cool thing about this is you can actually buy this dolly for about 60 bucks that gives this thing wheels. You, of course, won't get a smooth shot over carpet or anything like that, but if your studio has hardwood floors, it makes it really nice if you just want to slide this thing to the side whenever you're not using it. Regarding included accessories, it comes with this really nice bag. It is nice to store it in here, and also it has a nice carrying handle for whenever you take it on the go. This actually looks very similar to an Aperture lighting bag that I have, which, by the way, if you're looking for a good pair of lights, check out the Amaran series. I have been loving them. Included in the bag is this extra hat that goes over the fluid head. Essentially, it gives it a little bit more protection for when this thing's in transit. If it does get knocked around, nothing's gonna get damaged. Overall, I really like this tripod. It's very inexpensive in my opinion. It works great for my application and I've had no issues with it. I'm a brand new YouTube channel, so if you have any questions about this, put them in the comments. I love that type of interaction. Use my low subscriber count to your benefit. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. David does.